Hey, what's up guys? I uh, got some new Zippos. I was actually waiting for this one, which came from Canada, um, to arrive in order to make this video. These are all eBay finds. Um, the most expensive Zippo here that I purchased on eBay is this one only to left, which also happens to be the oldest one uh, that you're seeing right now. And I paid $25 for that. Everything else was $25 or cheaper. Um, some still have the stickers on, some are brand new, some are very used. I'll go over each one briefly. I may do individual videos on these, don't know yet. It really depends on the uh, demand, see how many people will actually want to see that. But I just want to make this video and tell you a little bit about each one and why I picked it up. Um, you know, when you collect Zippos, there's no real rules as to what to collect. You know, you collect whatever you like. Some people specifically like um, plain Zippos from all different years. Some people like collecting just, you know, beer advertisements. Some people just collect a certain year. You know, let's say their birth year is 1965 or something. I know one guy who uh, who just collects 1965 Zippos because that's the year he was born. So that's pretty cool. Some people just collect brass ones, you know. It, it's really, it's endless. There's thousands of different designs from Zippos, so it opens up the market for a lot of different possibilities as far as specific collections. Um, over the years, I've changed my mind many different times as to what kind of Zippos I want to collect. Generally speaking, um, I do like rare Zippos, so for the most part, I'm into collecting uh, vintage Zippos or hard-to-find Zippos. And anyway, let's go over these uh, just you know one at a time real quick, and I'll explain a couple of things about them. First one here, only on the left, like I said, this is the oldest one. This one on the front has an engraving that says Mackey Paper Company, uh, then NPC. This is their logo. Obviously a very old company. Um, this is, it's engraved, but there's no... Um, no coloration. Now, back in the day, and by the way, this is a 1947 Zippo, and I'll tell you how I know that in a second. But um, back in the day, they used to hand paint all their engravings for their um, advertising Zippos. Um, this one, over the years, the paint didn't hold up. You know, it was a, it was an option. Uh, I know that a lot of different companies did offer, or excuse me, did um, opt to uh, to get a colored logo. There's a chance that it never had color. But for the most part, a lot of these older ones, they just it doesn't last the test of time. You know, they would hand have a worker at Zippo hand paint all the different colors in here. So really interesting. But let's get kind of a close look up here. And I'll show you the bottom. You can see the deep engraving here. Now notice the engraving, even though it's a little dirty, you can see it's silver underneath. Okay. This lets me know this is a nickel. Um, or steel case. Now, only certain years were made of steel, so I do I knew, do know this is um, a nickel. It's not brass. Now, let's take a look at the bottom here, the markings. You see, it's a canned bottom. That's what this refers to. Canning is when it's indented. Okay, just so you know the term. But let's look at the bottom here. It says Zippo Manufacturing Company, Bradford, PA, on top. Then Zippo in block letters. An important part here it says patent number 2032695, made in USA. Now, just by going by the patent number 2032695, um, Zippo's had that marking on there from 1937 all the way up to 1953. So it kind of makes it hard to figure out exactly what year. Now, if you get a, a you know the average um, little pamphlet that says Zippo dates, they'll actually give you a different date um, because early on. The dating system wasn't real specific. It took many years of collecting and collectors just you know talking with each other and figuring out little details as to what changed over the years so they can actually date Zippos you know before they started using the dating system of the numbers and letters or even the regular markings. So two little reasons or two reasons why I know for a fact this is a 1947 Zippo. One is it has the 18 hole chimney or chimney. <laughs> I always say chimney, I don't know why, people always catch me on that. I guess it's a Jersey thing, but anyway, it has an 18-hole chimney, and you can see, or excuse me, I'm sorry, a 16-hole chimney. Uh, there's eight holes on each side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then if you flip, the reverse is exactly the same. Um, they, uh, they uh, excuse me, they stopped doing, or they start. I'm sorry, they started doing the 16 whole chimney in 1947. So now I narrow it down from 1947 to 1953 for the patent number. Um, one thing I also know, and then you can get this information from various uh, collector sites, but another little um, uh, tip or interesting fact is that in 1948 they changed from using um, nickel 
to using brass for the casing. Now looking inside the lid, it's going to be very hard to see here because it's shadowy, but looking, and you can see a little rust there, but looking inside, there, it's not brass, it's a nickel finish, or the actual steel, I'm sorry, is nickel. A lot of times if you look at your Zippos, most Zippo models, newer ones, they have a brass case, but they do a chrome um, layering on the outside. If you look inside your lid, even if you have a chrome Zippo, look inside your lid, most likely you'll see the brass exposed inside where the coating never got in there. So anyway, narrowing this down again, knowing that it's nickel and knowing that it has the 16 holes um, in the chimney, uh, that brings it to a 1947. That's how I get the conclusion of when this was made. You'll notice that the, um, the pin here holding the spark wheel on is hollow. That's another little indicator for age. A lot of little real minute details, but anyway. So I got a 1947 advertising Zippo for uh, Mackie Paper Company. I tried doing research on this. I couldn't find anything about the company. Uh, I'm assuming they just went out of business at some point. So, anyway, that's the first Zippo here. The second Zippo, and I love throwback Zippos, um, this is a 1935 replica. You can see it has the exterior hinge on here. And one reason they, uh, they did a lot of different changes over the years early on, but one difference you can see is the outside hinge, when you open this case up, you see that it actually hits the bottom of the case here. Okay, so that's one reason why they nixed the outside hinge. Uh, also, aesthetics, I guess, you know, eventually um, George G. Blaisdell thought that it was a better idea to have the hinge on the inside. But the initial Zippo, the very first Zippo in 1932, had the same outside hinge. So it's a pretty cool little throwback. And of course, the cut corner design, which I really like, real simple. Again, vintage design. And it has a modern insert, obviously. This one was specifically made, let's see here, let's take a close look. It was made in I of 2009. Let's see, I is, I think, September. So September 2009. And as I come back in, you can see the bottom, it says 1935 replica. So this will go with my little collection of replicas. I do want to get a 1933 replica eventually. They're a little bit more expensive. Uh, you see the original price here is $29.95, but they haven't made these in a while. So, I mean, since 2009. I don't think they have one for this year, but I could be wrong. Um, here's another cut corner. This is a throwback. This actually threw me for a loop. When I first saw this on eBay, and this is why you have to really be careful looking at pictures. Um, thank God I didn't pay too much for this one. I think I paid $17 or $18 for this. But originally, the way they took this picture, they, it looked like a flat bottom vintage Zippo. Again, you see the patent 20326695. But if you look really closely to the left of that Zippo, there's an H right in the middle of your screen. It's going to be really hard to see that, but there's an H. And on the right side, there's a V. Okay, so that's tell, that tells me this was made in, what's age? I think August. Um, and then the V actually um, uh, lets me know this was made in 1989. It's the Roman numeral 5. That's what the V stands for. So this is made in 1989, but the way they took the picture... I could not see those markings, and I had thought this was a lot. I thought this was a flat bottom. You see, it's not canned. It's just a flat bottom um, vintage. So even though it's a really cool lighter, and it's still pretty old, 1989, um, it's not as old as I thought. So I'm glad I didn't get into like a bidding war over this or anything, because you know I'm sure if someone else bought it and they ended up paying $100 for it, they would have been really upset. But again, you got to really ask good questions when you're buying vintage Zippos on eBay. See this one here. Um, this one actually, they sent this in the mail with fluid in it, which you're not supposed to do, but it doesn't matter, it ran out anyway. But you can see, modern uh, insert, I can get it out, it's a little bit tight. There we go. And it's going to be too, it's too scratched up to show you the markings. Let me show you real quick the first one, oh, let me leave this out. Show you 1989 insert compared to that 1947 insert. Now, minute differences, I'm not going to go over all of them in this video, but again, you have the solid pin for the spark wheel as opposed to the hollow pin. Um, the pin for the cams, this part right here is called the cam. That's what keeps the lid shut when it's closed and so it doesn't flop open. That actually uses a little copper pin as opposed to a stainless steel pin on this one. And also you'll notice on the, the old 1947 one, you also have the patent number on the insert. you got the exact same markings as the bottom. So something to look for if you get an old vintage Zippo and you want to make sure that you have the original insert to it, something to look for there. So this does have the original insert. 
All right, let's move along here. I don't want to make this video too, too long. But anyway, now these next two are, both of these are actually made in Canada. That's right. All you uh, friends from the north are going to like these. These are Canadian Zippos. Now, you might be scratching your head because you've probably been told Zippos are made in America, and that's true. Zippos are made in the United States of America, uh, specifically Bradford, Pennsylvania, which has been marked in the Zippo for many, many years, um, even back to 1947, or, yeah, 1947, as I showed you with the other one. Um, the big difference, and a lot of people don't know this, but uh, there was a Zippo manufacturing plant in Niagara Falls, okay, on the Canadian side. Even though Niagara Falls is, what, half in... New York State, half in uh, Canada, you can see, or Ontario, Canada, as you can see there, Niagara Falls, Ontario. So there are um, Zippos that were made in Niagara Falls. Now these are a little bit more collectible, for sure, there are a lot of collectors that collect just Canadian Zippos. Um, again, they're looking for the markings that says uh, Niagara Falls, um, Ontario. And the plant actually closed down in 2001. This one happened to be the uh, last model or it was made the last year, 2001. You see on the left there, you have an F, which stands for June. So this uh, specific Zippo was made in June 2001, and towards the end of the year, they closed the plant down for good. Um, so the only other place that Zippos have ever been made, manufactured, is Bradford, Pennsylvania. But like I said, for a while, they had a plant in Niagara Falls. So it's an interesting Zippo. I do happen to be a Giants fan. So when I saw this online, it had the Giants thing going for it. It had the Canadian thing going for it. Um, being in 2001... I mean, it's already nine years old, so I had to have it. And this one's actually never been opened. It's still brand new. I do have the box for it and everything. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Original price tag here was $28.95. So it was pretty cool. It was the last, you know, last year the Canadian Zippos were made. So I thought I'd pick that up. And the last one here is Zippo Slim. You see the difference in size between the other Zippos. And let me, let me step back just a second here, or go back a second, and show you the difference. This 1935 Zippo is actually shorter. You can see the size there. And that is, um, you know, close to what it actually was in 1935. It was a little bit of a shorter Zippo. I think the original Zippo was actually bigger than what we're used to today. But there was a couple of size and design changes over the years. But anyway, this last Zippo here is also made in Niagara Falls, Canada. As you can see there, this one happens to be E and then XI. XI, Roman numeral, um, meaning 11, I believe. And the XI... I'm trying to think what year, you know, I don't know offhand, I'll have to annotate it, what XI comes up as uh, down the bottom. But anyway, let's see. And the month here again is E. E is, I believe, May. Uh, I'll annotate at the bottom exactly when this was made. But this is a little Zippo Slim. You can see very high polished uh, finish on this. And then you have the coat of arms, which is going to be hard to get the whole picture in here, but the Canadian coat of arms. And it has all the original paint and the color. So that's pretty cool. And it says Canon on the bottom. So I do like the Slims. I do like collecting them, the old Slims. This one is actually super, super smooth. Just in opening and closing it. Um, there is a little dent in the bottom. No big deal. Just adds character. Whoever owned this obviously dropped it at one point. But again, this, this Zippo here was probably something, specifically because it has a Canadian uh, coat of arms on there. I would assume this originally was at a gift shop. Per, you know, probably in Niagara Falls. Um, so someone went there on vacation, whether it was from Canada or from the States, uh, or anywhere else in the world for that matter. Bought the Zippo as a gift or whatever. Maybe picked it up as a momentum or a novelty item uh, to remember their trip. And at some point, uh, this, this was supposedly a, um, a state sale. So either someone passed away or the stuff was, you know, sold or whatever. And eventually went on eBay. And now it's mine. I bought it. So... Anyway, a little interesting video for you. Just wanted to show you a couple of the new Zippos uh, I have. There's a lot of information uh, to be said about each individual Zippo. I apologize if the video was a little bit long for you. Uh, if you like Zippos, you're probably watching it still. If you don't like Zippos, there's a good chance <laughs> you stopped at some point. Uh, but even if you are still watching, I want to thank you for tuning in and possibly learning something new. And um, I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy the, re the rest of my videos, whatever else I come up with in the next couple of days and, and as time goes on and, and so on. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.